Give me the surprise this weekend. Oh, I, I think Bama's. I think Bama's going to beat Georgia. Uh, I, I really do. I think they match up really well, and Georgia is excellent. They're really good, and they have an elite quarterback. And Dan, you'll be talking about this guy for a long time. Carson Beck's going to make a lot of money at the next level. Uh, I think he is at worst third, fourth best prospect coming out, and it's only because he just doesn't have that much tape. But I think he's right there alongside Drake May and, and Caleb Williams. I think he's that good. Um, so he's unbelievable. They have great weapons on the perimeter. Brock Bowers at tight end. Uh, Lad McConkie is their number one receiver, but he's been a little banged up this year. They've had a few guys banged up offensively, but the problem with Georgia is their defense is just not what it was. I mean, when you think Georgia, you're thinking, oh my gosh, like the last two years, they are unbelievable on the defensive side. They've been gassed for 200 multiple times on the ground this year. Yeah. Auburn did it. Bama has elite speed and good and good offensive line, a quarterback that can really hurt you. Georgia's 112th in the country on yards given up on zone reads, which is nuts to me. A Georgia defense giving up six yards per carry on zone read. That's nuts. So I think Bama actually matches up really well, and Georgia now is riding a 29-game win streak, and, and I think it might come to an end on Saturday afternoon. You played for Nick Saban. What kind of pep talk do you think he'll have? <laughs> coming up this weekend <laughs> well when i was playing you know you, you we've been doing the show together for well i've been on your a guest with you guys for 14 years i would have probably gotten something along the lines of don't screw it up uh <laughs> that would have been the that would have been the message to me at, at quarterback so there's was, no rah rah there. <laughs> there, there's no you know fire and brimstone win one for the gipper the, well i'd love to tell you that there was he's kind of the same guy Every And that's why I think the team is so steady. He doesn't ramp it up for, for specific games. I mean, what you, what you get when you're playing Chattanooga is the same as what you'll get from Arkansas, is the same as what you'll get in the pregame leading up to Georgia. Um, everyone else, like, he doesn't need to energize his team. Like, he knows how to press the buttons. If anything, he wants to kind of bring them down a little bit because they're probably going to be on edge. Yeah. The biggest game they've had all year. It's probably going to be a little ramped up, maybe a little emotional. Uh, he's probably going to bring them down to earth just a little bit this week and, and kind of, hey, calm. we're going to be fine. Just execute the plan. Do your job. That's been the message kind of leading into the game. So you would expect him tossing tables and, you know, like uh, like like Lou in, in Major League where he's flipping tables and stuff. It's not really how he is. He's not banging lockers. He's If anything, he's trying to meet you in the middle because you're already going to be ramped up. So he's, I think he's the best at, at what he does and being able to kind of keep things consistent. And that's why his team has performed so beautifully in games like this. He's 10 and one in SEC championship games in his career. 10 and one, which is really insane. I just can't imagine your coach as you're getting ready to go out, play for a national championship. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, McElroy, don't screw it up. All right, let's go get yeah. that, that. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll be honest with you. If I were in his shoes, I would have probably said the same thing. 